All right, it's been a while since I've touched Supermarket Simulator. Today, the developer has basically added the tablet update, and there's a couple interesting ones. You can scan or add ordering products via tablet. <clears throat> you need to unlock at least three product licenses and buy the tablet from the Market app to unlock the tablet. So I. I believe what this is, you scan stuff and it automatically buys stuff. I, I, I don't understand enough about this part because I not I was never really asked to scan stuff while I worked before. So <clears throat> I had customers asking for help for self checkouts and uh, I know that feeling. People asking for help every five seconds. Added inventory information to the market app when purchasing products. Um, more added inventory information. Oh, oh, that is a lot help. That's a lot more helpful. Uh, the inventory information is very important. Increase the ordering limit to 50. You have no idea how good this part of the update is. Uh, previously, the ordering update was 10. 10. You could only grab 10 items. You could only purchase 10 items. So this is this is leagues better, and it's all stuff like a FedEx worker stuff them. Added a pricing app to control all pricing and see the price change history. So this is a good uh, way to you know determine the change in sales, I guess, and make a chart if you like using Excel and such. To, like collect data over this there's more added extra two restockers added restockers prioritizing the boxes with the least amount of products on the floor too so it's kind of it's kind of like F fifo basically or semi fifo if you don't know what fifo is and it's basically first in first out Added a detailed setting screen, advanced graphics, run in background, audio settings. Added four new objectives for customization and tablet. Change complete checkout count to increase by cashiers and s checkout count to increase by cashiers and self checkout actions now. <clears throat> self out self checkout actions now. <laughs> Improve the restocker logic. So. Hopefully this will help them to stock things properly instead of like stocking on top of, you know, other things. Added skipping the animation on the daily statistic screens by tapping anywhere. Bug fixes. Fix comma and period keys on keyboard not working on POS device. Fixed paying bills not updating money. Fixed boxes staying in the wrong position on the racks. Fix not being able to go upstairs between store and storage at low FPS. Really? That happens? Huh. Fixed interaction through the trash bin. Fixed walking through some buildings. Fixed shop bags staying on checkout counter when completing the day. Visual fixes, UI fixes, localization fixes. You might need to set your graphics settings again due to the new settings added. What's next? Adding boosting cashiers to speed them up. This is pretty nice to have. Restockers merging boxes with the same products to save some space. They'll be added. So, uh, I can't, I don't know. I think there's like only one person working on this. So, this is actually a pretty decent update. Uh, and this is right here is a very major update so there are two things we got to take away uh an extra two restockers semi fifo and and the increased ordering limit that's three but uh, increased ordering limit to 50. now i'm not too concerned about this but i think it'll be i'll be pleasantly surprised with this i do plan on using this uh this is pretty cool to look at but yeah that's basically the supermarket simulator update and um, if you want any more news regarding uh, certain updates on uh, certain games then leave a like subscribe or, or follow depending on where you're watching 
and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching and good day